Hello everyone, Oliver from Scholar C here. Are you struggling to extract key research findings, or finding it difficult to see how a paper slots into the field of research? Well, Scholar C's comparative analysis feature is just the tool for you. Let's take a look. I found an interesting article on mutual learning through haptic interaction by Oscar Sashbasi. I want to understand how the authors have considered previous work, have they built on or contrasted any previous findings. So I'm going to scroll down on my flashcard and select a comparative analysis section. From here, you can see how they've introduced previous work, how they've done things differently, if they've built on anything. You can also find where they've confirmed or contrasted any results. Whilst we're inside the comparative analysis section, we can take this one step further and use Conocy's annotated bibliography to get a deeper insight into the cited work. Simply hover over the citation and click on to show findings, and it will open up a snapshot of that paper so you don't have to leave the original article to understand what the cited works are talking about. Another way that we can take advantage of Scholarcy's comparative analysis section is in the Excel export. Let's take a look. I'll start by clicking on export. And I'll go on the drop down section and change this over to Excel. Click download. And in a moment, our Excel spreadsheet will download. Once that's downloaded, we can open it up. And very briefly, we'll load up into our spreadsheet. We can swipe along scroll across and you can find the comparative analysis sections here. So you've got the builds on, confirming, contrasting and differs from sections. And all of the content here actually contains a link. So we can click onto that and it will open up the snapshot of the cited works so we can extract any findings that we wish to read. So once it loads there you can see we can scroll through, there's all of the findings and a nice little snapshot there. Having the comparative analysis section, along with links to scholarly findings in the Excel exports, really useful for when you want to make a literature synthesis matrix. Not only can you compare multiple studies, but you can also then look into the citations within those studies. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching.